Now it's that time of the year again. What an exciting time and could be a very frustrating time if we're not allowed out to fish. Yes, the sardines are here. They're making their way up on the east coast. Big shoals and activity was spotted at the Kai River mouth on the 27th of May and they will be making their way up along our coast as they do every year. In 2018, we had a cracker sardine run with some magnificent catches from the shore. The guys really needed to know their story to land some of the sharks that were hooked and the amount of anglers that were in on the same time. Now last year 2019 we had a good sardine run especially for the drone angler as the sardines just didn't come in with the predatory fish like they did in 2018. So you needed a drone to actually get to them and get to the bigger fish. Several drone anglers were rewarded with some really good catches. Now will 2020 deliver the way 2018 did? Maybe I think it will, purely because of lockdown. <laughs> I'm just saying, the guys are so deprived that I'm sure our ocean will deliver the goods for us. And I'm sure that we'll be fishing by then. Now it's essential guys to, to make sure that you are geared and prepared for the sardine run, especially with the size fish that comes with it. We have seen monster grey sharks, some really big blackfin sharks, good bronze whalers, zambezis and a whole horde of predatory fish that follow the sardines as we well know. So make sure you don't go undergunned, in other words, with tackle that will not stand up against these fish. Make sure you've got the right braid, a reel with the right drag system, and the rod with a backbone that can handle these bigger fish. If you're not geared for sharks, don't go target them when you know that's the species that's on the bite. Now yes, the new Saltiga should be available maybe even before the sardine run. We know it's arriving at the end of June, but that's the caliber of reels we're talking about. A good 8,000 or 20,000 size reel that can take a kilometer of 50 and even 60 pound braid. For the sardine run, it's advised that you use 60 pound and up to handle these bigger sharks. With a heavy rod like the Daiwa Tournament, heavy or the Grinder Elite heavy, paired with the Saltist 8,000, should give you a good fighting chance. Then when it comes to the nylon coated steel, I wouldn't fish anything less than 200 pound. 250 and even 400 pound is advisable. As for these big dusky grey sharks, I've got exceptionally sharp teeth and is known to bite through anything lower than 200 pound. And by hooking these really really big ones, 200 pound will even work its way through its teeth in a long fight. As well as with the pressure you can apply using thick braid and the right tackle. It's essential that we keep the best interest of the fish in mind and make sure we fish responsible and sustainable. Guys just remember it reflects on all anglers should you not take the right precautions and responsibility to land these fish properly. So it's every recreational and sports angler's responsibility to make sure he's got the right tackle, the right information and is fully prepared to be able to target these bigger fish and land them successfully as well as being able Able to release them successfully. When these bigger fish are around, it's not advisable to fish on your own, but make sure you at least two and rather three or more to handle these fish on the shore and release them safely. To all the drone anglers, the same goes for you as for rock and surf anglers. To make sure your tackle can stand up against these big predators before you target them and make sure you've got the right information or fish at least with a very experienced shark angler to assist you through it. Now guys, let's hope the sardine run brings everything we're hoping for and even better to make up for the time we lost next to the water. May this be a fantastic sardine run and ASFN will make sure to bring you everything we can news wise on the whereabouts of the sardine and the action around it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, make sure you push that notification button and select all videos to be notified every time we upload a video. As you know with the sardine run it's all about timing and there's not much time allowed from when they actually get onto the beach and for you to get there. So to make sure you've got the latest news on them subscribe to the ASFN channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next to the waters soon.